Okay, welcome back to practice with me. Today we're still working in the Rubank Elementary method for flute or piccolo, and today we're on lesson 17. It's crazy how far we've gotten, huh? We've gotten really far. Okay, so today we're going over cut time. So, just a quick recap on cut time. Cut time is t the time signature of two, two. So that means our quarter note no longer gets the beat. It's now the half note that gets the beat. So everything's basically in half. So if you have a, a whole note gets two beats. A half note gets one beat. A quarter note gets half a beat. So on and so forth. If you need more details or want more details about it, check out our music theory lesson solely on cut time. All right, but for now, I think that should kind of get the gist of it, right? Okay, so let's take a look at our exercise that we have. So first off, what is our key signature? That's the key of G, so we have one sharp, F sharp. Great, our time signature is cut time, so that's the two, two we were just talking about. And you can see here in this first measure, the book wrote it out, one, two. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit more challenging because we have to think about it a little bit more. All right, but let's just play. So remember, the whole note is now worth two beats. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh man, that means, okay, <laughs> I just said two, two and I was counting to four. Okay, that means our pre-count or the count off is now one, two, one, two, play. And I'm gonna just do two measures of count offs just so we can get more of a feel for the beat. Okay, ready? One, two, one, two. that they reminded you that the half note is worth one. They even reminded us what our rests are, so it's the same thing even. The rests also get cut in half, so a whole rest is two. All right, let's do it again though, all right? Ready? One, two, one, two. Job. 
Let's take a look at our exercise number two. So it's going to be the same key signature, key of G, which includes the F sharp, and we're still in cut time two, two. All right, but this time now we have some half notes in here. The half notes are worth one now, as you can see it written on the bottom of the book. One, two, one, two. All right, so let's just give this a shot. All right, and the same thing, I'm gonna count one, two, one, two, play. All right, ready? One, two, one, two. because it's one, two, three in total. I mean, it's one, two, one, but it's worth three beats with the tie. All right, let's play it again. Ready? One, two, one, two. as well and be natural great let's play it one more time for good luck ready one two one two exercise number three now. So now our key signature changes. What is our key signature in now? Key of F, we have one flat, B flat. All right, and our time signature remains cut time, which is two, two, so everything is still in half. So now we're introducing the quarter note. So the quarter note's gonna act like the eighth note. So you see here how it's written, one, two, and, the quarter notes are just going to be just like our eighth notes. All right, let's give this a try. Ready? One, two, one, two. is that right it's so hard not to just hold it out so hard not to do that how'd you do at that pace I didn't realize I was going that fast until after we were playing let's take it a little bit slower and play this in cut time still all right ready one two one two <laughs> much different it is, right? When I was learning, I would, I guess it'd be a form of cheating, I'm not sure, but I would count like double the speed. So if the speed was like this, I'd be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, because I just couldn't comprehend the math behind it. So I would just count faster. And you know what, that's kind of rough doing it that way. So I suggest not doing it that way if you are. You know, you just gotta take a little time to practice it and we just have to think a little bit more, be a little more conscious and aware of what's going on. All right, let's play it one more time though. All right, ready? One, two, one, 
请。To our original pace. Did you feel better that time than you did when we first played it? Excellent. All right, let's take a look at our exercise number four. All right, so now they're adding in something dotted. So we have a dotted half note in measure one, two, three, four. You can see that they did the counts for us. One, two, and. Okay, so it's just like our dotted quarter note. Just think of it that way. Yeah. All right. Let's just give this a shot. But before we get there, our key signature has changed again. What is our key signature this time? It's the key of C, no sharps, no flats. Great. All right. Let's give this a shot. Ready? One, two, one, two. everything out, huh? Did you remember that everything is natural? No sharps, no flats? Great. Okay, let's play it again. Ready? One, two, one, two. Excellent job. All right, let's do it one more time for good luck. Ready? One, two, one, two. Excellent job. All right, let's take a look at our exercise number five. It's all about ties. Now, what's the difference between a tie and a slur? The tie stays on the same note, the slur changes note. Great, okay. So this is gonna change up probably the way we count a little bit. So you see here on the bottom, it's counting for us one, two, and. So we're just gonna play one, and. One, and. One, and. Okay? So once again, it's just gonna take a little bit more thinking power. If you need to take time to write in your counts, go ahead and pause the video and write that in. All right, but for now, let's move on. All right, ready? One, two, one, two. Excellent, how'd you do? It's just strange, isn't it? Between the ties, the cut time, it's so weird. All right, let's do it again, shall we? Ready? One, two, one, two. Great job, are you having any troubles? If you are, please let me know in the comments and we'll go over it a little more in detail. All right, let's do it one more time for good luck. Ready? One, two, one, two. Excellent job. All right, let's go on to our last exercise of the night, melody. All right, so this is still in cut time, and this time our key signature goes back to F, so B flat is what we have. All right, so this is just kind of a mixture of everything we've learned. So you can see here that they started the counts with us. One, two, and. So why don't we actually take a moment to write these counts in since it's a mix. So get your handy dandy pencil and let's write in our counts. Thank you. 
such a hard time not writing three, four. So used to it, you know? you have your counts in. If you don't, just pause the video until you're done. Okay, so let's go over the counts real quick. So it's one, two, and one, and, and then we're gonna rest. So let's start again. All right, so it's one, two, and one, and one, two, and one, and one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, one, two, and one, and two, and 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 one, and two, one, and one, and two, one, and one, and two, one, and two, one, two, and one, two. All right? All right, let's just give this a shot. All right. I know it seems complicated, but you know what? I believe in you. I know you can do this. Okay, we're ready? One, two, one, two. Great, how'd you do? It makes a little more sense when you're playing it. And it, to me, it makes even more sense when you're playing with the group. All right, let's do it again now. Ready? One, two, one, two. job. Are you feeling a little more comfortable as you get along? How do you feel about cut time now versus when we did it in the beginning? I know this exercise is a little bit harder just between the dotted half notes, the ties, it's a little bit more, but I think we're getting it. All right, let's do it one more time though. All right, ready? One, two, one, two. Just remember, the more we practice it, the better you'll get, the easier it'll get. So just make sure you keep on practicing and we'll get real comfortable and we'll have it in no time. All right, thanks for joining me and until next time.